Hey Aquarius, this is your weekly reading for January 27th through February 2nd. Let's jump right in. Look at each other. Give me cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun. Okay. What's going on with Aquarius this week? message do you have for Aquarius? You know what to do. You know what to do, Aquarius. That's such a pretty color. Okay. What are we doing this week? What is going to be on Aquarius' mind January 27th through February 2nd? Right, how yeah, the sun just flipped out there. I think keep it clarity. That's what they're saying. You know what to do, and you almost you have the answer. Reading over. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you know what to do. So you're gonna have some clarity of the mind. Things will become very clear to you. It's it's an enlightenment. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you're going to be enlightened on your path or some situation um, that you need to deal with this week let's see what this is why is the sun coming out here for aquarius it's beautiful yes it is seven of cups they're saying to clear your thoughts to clear up any confusion okay with the seven of cups seven of hearts they want you to have clear thinking here this week You know what to do. What's crossing Aquarius? 27 through the 2nd. You leaving some past situation behind. That's what I feel here with the judgment card. Someone wants a second chance, but I feel like you want freedom. Okay? That's, what it, that's why you're being told um, you know what to do. Excuse me, you guys. You know what to do, okay? This could be some fire sign you are dealing with. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone that wants a second chance with you. All right. Best that can be achieved. You have the hangman coming in here. I feel like they're saying, honestly, to make your moves at the right time. Uh, with the hangman here. There's this period of waiting, but I feel like you're becoming more clear of what you have to do in this time. You may, may not be giving someone this second chance. Let's see why this is crossing you here, Aquarius. Why is a judgment card here? They may have waited too long. You may be telling someone this. Okay, you have a letter here and the Ace of Pentacles coming in. You see new opportunities. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay, for yourself, Pensioner. You're thinking about your long-term future. Yourself, that's what you're thinking about. The consultant is you. Okay, the pensioner is your future, your money, your life, okay? How things are going to be set up and you are clear about what your next moves will be. You're focused on new beginnings. That's what I'm seeing here. And you want success, happiness, and fulfillment with that sun card there. Reason for the reading. There's an ending here and a new beginning. Definitely, okay? Uh, with the death card here. Past energy here for Aquarius. You probably made your mind up in the past already with the three of wands. You've already been thinking about something, okay? Or thinking about your next move or making plans to move forward, okay? You're going to start protecting yourself more in the near future with the nine of wands, okay? Making sure that's 
if you're going to give out attention to someone that they are trustworthy, maybe you have your defense up because you're not trusting a situation or a person right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ah, okay. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands here, okay? You've taken a break on someone, or you will take a break on someone in the near future. You have the Four of Swords, Four of Spades there, okay? Yeah, it's almost like you made your mind up and you're standing, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're standing your ground. That's what they're saying here. Why is a death card here for the foundation? The reason for the reading. Thank you. Flatterer. Okay. Goodness. Okay. It's almost like this person wants you to stay around or wants you to come back. They're saying don't fall into this trap of flattery. Okay. It may not turn out well. Okay. You have displeasure here. Hmm. And the nine of pentacles this is marking a period of you being single or leaving a situation. Okay, that's what that is saying. Let's take a look at the outcome. What's the outcome here for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Queen of Wands. Beautiful. You. That is... I feel like this is your energy here, okay? I feel like you're going to be loyal to yourself now. That's what they're saying. And your ideas this week, okay? You're more in touch with your intuition, okay? I feel like you are supporting yourself right now at this moment. And what you feel is right. That's why you're being told you know what to do. Let's take a look at love here for you, Aquarius. How things play out with the lover. Look what's coming out already. <sighs> How things play out with a lover in Aquarius. It's going to be some possible change to living arrangements for some of you. That's what I'm seeing here. You have the King of Wands coming in right across from the Queen of Wands. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. Why is King? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, the nine of cups interesting so I feel like there is some wish fulfillment coming in here I'm going to see what this is you're looking for balance with someone And I feel like there is an air sign here with this King of Wands. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. You have Fright and the Nine of Swords. This person is a little close up or close minded. Or maybe they're afraid of connection. Someone you're dealing with is afraid of connection. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? You may have an issue with equal give and take between you two here okay because someone is not giving the same attention as you are okay with the four of hearts there what's happening here with this nine of cups and love interesting you have the five of swords coming in I've, you're going to be 
become aware of someone's selfish behavior, I feel like you're going to carry on with your original plans. They're saying keep going with your original plans. With the Nine of Cups, you are still going to have a blessed path. That's what I feel like you're walking towards this path of blessings. But you may have a lover that is not quite ready to open up and commit and give as much as you are. That's what I'm seeing. This is a lot of sores, okay? Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Eight, nine, ten. There's an ending to something. That's what it is. Ending. I keep trying to get all the messages out, but it keeps saying the same damn thing. It's done. Okay? With that love. How things play out with Aquarius and a family member this week. This judgment card is coming out a lot. You may have um, relatives that you haven't seen for a while come back around. Okay? This may be... Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. People from the past. Family members from the past come back around. I feel like it doesn't feel negative, though. It's just saying that these people from your past will reappear. What is? What do these people want from Aquarius? These family members from the past. Why are they coming back for Aquarius? Anger. You ain't got time for this. Who mad at you, Aquarius? You don't have time, okay? You have the Eight of Wands. Some news or communication is coming in from someone um, that you haven't heard from, okay, in a long time. It is a family member, okay? But I don't think that you'll be happy about the message. It's saying anger there, okay? How will things play out with Aquarius and a co-worker this week? Yeah, the four of pentacles coming in here. Not good. <clears throat> That's what I'm feeling. I see you guys sticking to yourself. Like not, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. Not dealing with um, co-workers. Not... Someone has lied to you. They're not being truthful to you. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Or someone's going to hurt your feelings by something that they say. You're going to draw closer to yourself. That's what I see here with coworkers. I feel like you told someone something and they're going to go back and say something, okay? And you're going to sever ties with this person or stop dealing with them. How things play out with Aquarius and a friend. Past friends coming back with the Six of Cups. Ooh, past love coming back. Maybe an old, um, old flame. A past lover wants to reunite with you. That's what I'm seeing here. You guys may have left on good terms. This is someone that you dated when you were younger. I feel like they still have feelings for you with the Page of Cups here. Communication is coming in from this person. Okay, they're going to be wanting to come and visit you, spend time with you, show you affection. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. It's happening with Aquarius and an enemy. Lies. Yeah, the moon card coming in. We don't deal with enemies anyway. <laughs> enemies. Bring out one more card for you guys. You got the six of swords here in reverse and the moon cards. 
I feel like someone's deception has changed your changed your plans or you had to change your plans due to someone's deception. Okay? That's what I'm hearing here. Or you think differently about this person and you just put them in the enemies on the enemies list. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, okay? Like do not mess with this person because they're not truthful or they're not they're not open, they're not clear, they keep secrets, okay? That's what I'm fe feeling here. Someone you're not dealing with, though. With the Six of Swords here in reverse. You've blocked someone. Blocked them on social media. Blocked them on every level. Mentally as well, okay? No more visiting. No more nothing. Someone has hurt you. That's what I see here, okay? That's why you're being told. Here, Aquarius, you know what to do here for this week. This is your week. Leave reading Aquarius for January 27th through February 2nd. You guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Hit the notification bell and take care of yourself. Love you. Bye.